What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 7 in the Math 1 questions that North Carolina released this past school year. The question tells us that Joanna has a total of 50 coins in her purse, nickels and quarters, and the total value of the coins is $7.10. Now this question is not actually asking us to figure out how many nickels or, and quarters there are, but just what the best way to write the system of equations that models this would be. So in order to do well on a question like this, when you see it on your test, this is all about translating a word problem into equation or function language. So let's get started by closely reading this and seeing what words we can pick out. So let's start with Joanna has a total of 50 coins in her purse. So 50 coins. And then it does say the coins are either nickels or quarters. And all of our answer choices say that this is N and Q. Nickels is N, quarters is Q. That was probably pretty obvious, um, but it does say that since there are 50 coins and the coins are nickels plus quarters, we can very easily assume that the number of nickels plus the number of quarters equals 50. I know that looks like a 9. It's a Q. Sorry about that. So now that we have that the number of nickels plus the number of quarters equals 50, that's one of two equations that we're actually going to have to set up in order to be able to solve a system like this. And so for the other equation, we actually have to have a look at this bullet, that the total value of the coins is $7.10. Now let's think about the value of a nickel versus a quarter. A nickel is five cents and a quarter is 25 cents, but that would equal 710 cents. And everything I see in my answer choices has 7.10 or seven and 10 hundredths or seven and 10 cents which means we're actually going to have to translate this into how many dollars they're worth. Five cents, we can rewrite not as $0.5, dollars, but $0.05. Dollars. So that's five cents per nickel. Five cents is five hundredths of a dollar. And then per is one of the words that I can use to tell myself that I'm multiplying. So five hundredths times N. And then 25 cents per quarter, we can call 25 hundredths. 25 cents per quarter, 25 hundredths times Q equals, and now we can write this in just dollars and cents language, 7.10. So we have one equation, two equations that we can put into our system. So we just need to look now, after all the work we did translating this, at the answer choice that best matches what we've already come up with. So for choice A, I see N plus Q equals 50. I had that one. I see 0.05n plus 0.25q equals 7.10. We had that one. So already, this one looks promising, but let's knock out the others just to be sure. So choice B, nickels plus quarters equals, uh, it should equal 50. We can already see that that's not what we're looking for, so choice B is out. And I think for choice C, we run into a similar problem. 0.05n plus 0.25q, 5 cents per nickel plus 25 cents per quarter equals 50 and nickels plus quarters equals 7.10. So they got the, the by themselves numbers mixed up. Um, so C is not it. And finally, for choice D, our 50s are in completely the wrong place. It was just the nickels and the quarters, not 50 nickels and 50 quarters. And it might be pretty clear once you think about it for a little bit that 50 nickels and 50 quarters don't equal $7.10. So anyway, now that that's all done, we've knocked out B, C, and D. The best answer is choice A. We have 50 coins, which are either nickels and quarters. Their value, 5 cents per nickel and 25 cents per quarter, comes together to equal $7.10.